it's question number 141. In which of the following animals, single opening is used for both ingestion and ejection while removal of metabolic waste product is through body wall? Single opening which serves the function of both mouth and anus. This type of digestive system is known as incomplete digestive system. So, among the given options, we have to choose the animals in which incomplete digestive system is present. And the options given are hydra and obelia. In both hydra and obelia, digestive system is incomplete. Second option, tinea and fasciola. In tinea, digestive system is absent. In fasciola, digestive system is incomplete. In Neri's complete digestive system is present with two openings. In Heriodinaria also complete digestive system is present. In Limulus and Locusta complete digestive system is present. Incomplete digestive system is present in Hydra and in Obelia. So correct answer to this question is option number one. Let's move on to the next question that is question number 142. Bioluminescence, extracellular and intracellular digestion and reproduction only by sexual means are characteristic features of. And the options given are silkworms, sea walnuts, flatworms and roundworms. Bioluminescence, both extracellular and intracellular digestion and reproduction by only sexual means, these are features of tenophores. And tenophores are commonly known as sea walnuts. So, correct answer to this question is option number 2. Let's proceed to the next question. That is question number 143. True segmentation or metamerism occurred for the first time in the members of phylum. Metameric segmentation is present in phylum Annelida, Arthropoda and Chordata and first time it occurred in the phylum Annelida. So, correct answer to this question is option number 1. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 144. All of the following are common characters of meandrina and tenoplana except meandrina that is brain coral belongs to phylum nidaria and tenoplana belongs to phylum tenophora. First option, presence of two germ layers in their developing embryos. Both sealant traits and tenophores are diploblastic. So, first option is correct. Second, presence of nidoblast in their tentacles. This is not a common feature because nidoblast is present in the epidermis of nidarians, that is in meandrina, but nidoblasts are absent in tenoplana. So, this is not a common feature. So, correct answer to this question is option number two. Option number 3, presence of radial symmetry. Radial symmetry is present in nidarians as well as in the tenophores. It is present in meandrina as well as in the tenoplana. So, this is a common feature. Option number 4, both have extracellular and intracellular digestion. First extracellular and then intracellular digestion is feature of nidarians and tenophores. So, this is also a common feature and Second option is not a common feature. So, answer to our question. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 145. Flame cells help in excretion and osmoregulation in. And the options given are liver fluke, sea anemone, bath sponge and hookworm. Flame cells are present in liver fluke, which is common name of fasciola. So, correct answer to this question is option number 1. In C. anemone, nitrogenous base diffuses out through body wall. In ponges also, nitrogenous base diffuses out through body wall. And in hookworm, excretory pore is present through which nitrogenous waste passes out. So, correct answer to this question is option number 1. Let's move on to the next question. 